top here at noon and first on seven Nicholas Cruz pleading guilty in one of two cases against him. Good afternoon everybody. It is not for the massacre to which he is confessed though. But a guilty plea in that case is expected days from now. We have live a team coverage from the courthouse to Parkland. We begin with seventh Brandon Byer live at the Broward County Courthouse. Brandon. And Vanessa, that guilty plea for the 17 murder, the 17 attempted murder, that could come as early as Wednesday of next week. That is the next time we will see Nicholas Cruz in court. We just saw him a few minutes ago uh, here at the Broward County Courthouse. Here he is walking in to plead guilty to the battery charges uh, from stemming from a, him attacking one of the detention officers back in November of 2018. He had been in jail about eight months or so when this incident happened. But he listened to the judge. He talked with the judge. She asked him questions about his state of mind today. Uh, had he been under the influence of any medicines, any drugs? He answered no to all those questions. Said this was his decision. He had talked with his attorneys, and he wanted to plead guilty to, to these four counts, facing a, uh, potentially up to 15 years in these cases. It's life in the other ones, and possibly even death. Uh, but for what he pled guilty to here today, he was looking at roughly 15 years. Let's listen into a little bit of the interaction with the judge as he was pleading guilty. In case number 18, 14129, to count one of the information, attempted aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer with a deadly weapon, how do you wish to plead? I plead guilty. Count two, battery on a law enforcement officer, how do you wish to plead? Guilty. Count three, depriving an officer means of uh, protection. How do you wish to plead? Guilty. And count four, attempted use of self-defense weapon against a law enforcement officer. How do you wish to plead, sir? Guilty. Also, are you uh, agreeing that your credit for time you served at this point is 1,068 days? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I accept your plea of guilty. I find that you are alert and intelligent, that you understand the nature of the charges, that you understand understand the consequences of entering into the plea. So the judge there accepting, uh, uh, give me a cue, Stanley, when. Okay, so the judge there accepting those four guilty pleas to all four charges, again, stemming from the incident uh, that happened inside the jail. More on that in just a minute, though. First, she she took some time to uh, to really get us a, a, a reference of his, of his state of mind. Again, I mentioned earlier, asked him if he was on any medications, asked him if he had taken any drugs, alcohol, anything that would uh, affect his decision-making process. She was very thorough uh, in getting a check on his state of mind. Do you suffer from any physical or mental illness? I was told in the past, uh, but I believe I have any issues. Okay, what, what did they tell you? You said uh, you were told in the past. I was told in the past that I suffered like anxiety, depression. Okay. And uh, but no formal diagnosis. No formal diagnosis. All right. And how are you feeling today? Feeling all right. I understand you're nervous. I, I assume you're nervous. That's normal. But yep. what I need to know is, are you feeling any type of anxiety to the extent that you would not be able to understand or follow along with me when I'm speaking to you? I know. I understand. And so you heard that Cruz there tell the judge he had been told he'd suffered from depression, anxiety years ago. He said he felt like that was not an issue and he was uh, fully prepared, fully uh, in a state of mind to make these decisions. This is what he is pleading guilty to today. This is the attack on that detention officer. Uh, four charges came out of this. Uh, the attack went on for about a minute. The whole thing was captured on video. Cruz is, is pacing around the room there and eventually just lunges at that detention officer. At one point tries to take his taser from, uh, from his belt. That was part of the charges there. So this is what he pled guilty to today. And of course, next week, we fully expect Nicholas Cruz will plead guilty again uh, to what landed him in jail in the first place. And that was, of course, this tragedy three years ago, Valentine's Day 2018, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, uh, when he, as he has confessed to, uh, killed 17 people and injured 17 more. Now, as far as that case goes, the 17 attempted murders, those will carry consecutive life sentences. That is pretty much a done deal uh, when he pleads guilty to that on Wednesday. Only thing up in the air at this point is if the state will accept his uh, uh, guilty plea on the murder charges. Again, 17 counts of murder. Uh, it is expected that the state will want to take that to a penalty phase, which is basically like a mini trial where they will try to uh, convince a jury to sentence Nicholas Cruz to death. Again, that all takes place next week. For now, we are live downtown Fort Lauderdale. Brandon Byer, 7 News.
All right, Brandon, and our team coverage continues now with 7's Franklin White also at the courthouse with reaction. Franklin? Okay, so Ethan, for those affected, this day is just one step closer to that guilty plea in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland. Nicholas Cruz, the man who changed so many lives, just pled guilty to that 2018 assault on a BSO deputy. In the courtroom, take a look. Here is video from one family going in of Nick Dort. You're seeing them walk into the courtroom to hear today's guilty plea. As you can imagine, this is an emotional day for this family. Their loved one, Nick Dort, was only 17 when he was killed that day. Here's a picture of that teenager who was killed. He was the captain on the school swim team and had big dreams of competing in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Obviously, that dream never happened. He was also offered a scholarship to the University of Indianapolis. And obviously, an emotional day for those who also survived as well. I want to show you a tweet from a survivor who wrote, no expletive. He was guilty. This quote justice system fails so many people. May that building finally be torn brick by brick and may the Parkland community continue to continue the healing process. Now, last night we spoke to the father of Joaquin Oliver. He spoke to us last night and said, quote, finally, he knows he's guilty. We also spoke to the brother of Hunter Pollock, who died in that tragedy as well. He tweeted last night saying, um, our family needs, our families need justice to be served. It's been 1,338 days overdue. More on the stories we learn more throughout the day. And of course, next, next week, we expect that guilty plea in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. We are live in Fort Lauderdale, Franklin White, 7 News. Franklin, thank you for that. A Parkland teacher and parents also reacting this afternoon. Seven's Vanessa Medina is live at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. With what they had to say, Vanessa. That's right. You know, still so many mixed emotions for these family members. Some say this is closure and others say they will never have closure. Their child is gone. And here at MSD, where it all happened all those years ago, where 14 students lost their lives and three faculty members, you can see the freshman building is still there. You can see that it's still covered by that gate. However, everything remains the same inside of that building from when it happened that February 14th inside that building. They kept it the same for this trial. They were waiting for the trial to happen, so they were expecting to take jurors inside that building to take them through the different floors and rooms and explain how everything happened. So the big question remains what will happen with that building once he enters this guilty plea. Now we did speak to parents and uh, 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 a teacher that works here and this is what they had to say. There is no resolution here, right. all right? Um, we started this battle by losing the battle. I lost my son. Nothing, nothing that happens. I'm talking about um, uh, justice, money, whatever you call it, will ever, ever be on that same level of loss and pain. I found this guy guilty since the last four years. That's the reality. My son is not here. Joaquin is not here. Um, and um, the fact that um, if this means that there is no trial, but there is another process, um, I'm okay with that. And, 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 and we all know that he's guilty, and finally he noticed that he's guilty, and he's willing to share that. That's fine. So Fred Gutenberg tweeting this a short time ago. I have received messages today asking me to comment on the breaking murder trial news. My only comment is to remember the victims. Remember Jamie, his daughter. Rather than talk about the murderer, please join us on October 23rd to celebrate Jamie's life by signing up. And he gives a link to uh, her uh, organization that he created in her honor. Now, many also saying with this new plea. It's time to move forward. It's time to get rid of this freshman building that still stands in the middle of campus here at MSD. And it's a constant reminder for the teachers that still remain. And we spoke a short time ago as again to Manuel Oliver and he, and a teacher as well. And they give uh, their reactions to the death penalty because it was never uh, a question as to whether or not Nicholas Cruz uh, committed this murder. The big question 
question was whether or not he was going to get the death penalty. And here's their reaction to that. I was surprised. I mean, you know, um, pleasantly surprised because, um, you know, it, it makes sense. I thought he was initially going to plead guilt, going to plead guilty back in 2018. For some reason, I guess, who knows, lawyers, what have you, um, that changes. And now he's back to pleading guilty. I'm glad because there's some closure. Um, they can take that building and knock it down once everything is done. It won't drag on for years and years as a not guilty plea uh, could be. I'm glad that it's not that easy to get uh, rid of the death penalty. Uh, it's not like I'm guilty, then I, I won't die because of this. Um, I do know that the way that my son died was very painful. Uh, he was shot four times in the middle of a lot of kids screaming and dying and falling on the floor. So nothing will be even close to that way of dying. So at the end of the day, I really hope it's not out of the table. I think it should stay there. But whatever happens to this person, you know what? It, it's, it's a secondary thing for us. We are working on, on solving this issue and try to keep more people alive and prevent this from happening to anyone else. He's talking about his activism and what he's done since Joaquin, his son's murder. Now, while this may be a step in the right direction for many to find some closure and for many to begin the healing process, there's still so much pain and heaviness associated with being on campus here. And for these families, nothing will ever change the fact uh, that this tragedy happened and it will never bring their loved one back. Reporting live in Parkland, Vanessa Medina, 7 News. All right, Vanessa, so what does this all mean moving forward? 7's legal analyst Howard Finkelstein joins us now. Howard, what happens next in the battery case and then next week in the case of the 17 murder charges as well? Well, with the battery case, it's now ready for sentencing. Whether or not she's going to sentence him before they begin the second phase or what's called the penalty phase of the homicide case, that's really up to the judge and it doesn't make a lot of difference. His guilty plea allows the prosecution to use this conviction as an aggravating factor. But the next thing up of real import will be jury selection for the penalty phase. And that's going to be a long and arduous process because this is going to be a full-blown trial. It's just a different type of trial because it's not guilt or innocence. It's about only one question. Does he live or does he die? Howard, thank you so much for your analysis today. And be sure to stay with 7 News for continuing coverage as Cruz moves to the next phase of this case and plans to plead guilty to the Parkland massacre. We will have updates on air, online, and on all of our social media platforms.